Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Danny Suarez, the next gen Octane Gang Piston Cup Racer number 19 from Cars 3. And before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Danny Suarez is a next gen Piston Cup Racer who who bears the number 19 for Octane Gain, the Turbo Vitamins. He, he is named after and voiced by NASCAR driver Daniel Suarez, who drove the number 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing in 2017 and 2018 in the NASCAR Cup Series. Yes. And he also speaks with a Mexican accent and had replaced the previous Octane Gain racer, Bobby Swift. In Cars 3, when Lightning McQueen heard that Brick Yardley was being fired by his sponsor Vitaline in favor of a next-gen racer named Chase Racelot, he, he was keen to ask Bobby what was going on, only to find out that he too was replaced by a next-gen racer, which is Danny Suarez here. Lightning stated that he wasn't Bobby, and Danny replied, Name's Danny, bro. No. And, during the ra and during the LA 500 at LA International Speedway of 2016, when Jackson Storm caught up with Lightning and saying that he had a good run and telling him to enjoy his retirement, and it caused Lightning to slow down and Storm to take back the lead. Then Danny and Chase you know, over, uh, overtook him as well. Lightning pushed hard to keep up with Storm, Danny, and Chase, but ended up having a blowout and causing him to crash. And Danny is also one of the next gen racers to that attended the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway in February of 2017, and and was and he along with Chase and Ryan and Side Laney and Bubba Wheelhouse, who I don't have, congratulated Cruz Ramirez on her victory. and her 360 degree flip. And that is it. So now without any further ado, let's get right into the review. Here we've got her, I mean his dark purple paint job and her angry facial expression and the grill and the headlights and, and on the hood we've got a next gen octane gain logo and on the left side we've got the new light year tires and the exhaust pipes and a gold interior and a gold number 19 and the octane gain logo and the gas cap and a few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, Synergy. And on the top we've got another number 19, No Name Signature. On the spoiler we've got the Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins on the spoiler. And on the back we've got the taillights and a number 19 and the Octane Gain logo and the Rookie Stripes which indicates that Danny is a rookie. And on the right side, similar design, but completely different. And that is it. <clears throat> so now, let's compare him to the other Octane Gain racer, Bobby Swift. Both race in the Piston Cup for Octane Gain, 
both bear the number 19, and both are purple. Both have the headlights, both have the number 19 on the top, but here are some differences. Old Octane Gain logo, new Octane Gain logo, number 19 underneath, no number 19 underneath, no grill, grill, both have the headlights, old number 19, new number 19, old light year tires, new light year tires, light year on the front fenders, no light year on the front fenders, old octane gain logo, new octane gain logo, both have the gas caps, a few contingency sponsors, several contingency sponsors saying piston cup, vitaline, revolting, RPM, nitrate, octane gain, their sponsor, and clutch aid, and lesser contingency sponsors saying Piston Cub, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Name signature, no name signature. Octane gain on the trunk. Octane gain on the spoiler. Both have the octane gain logo on the backside and the taillights. And number, nine, number 19 underneath the tail light, number 19 on the back bumper, rookie stripes, no rookie stripes, which means Danny is a rookie and Bobby is a veteran. And that is it. Although, the only Octane Gain racer that I don't have is Billy Oil Changer, who has the number 58 and, ha and is orange and is also from Cars 1. But I, I really wish I could get Billy Oil Changer. So anyhow, let's compare. Let's compare him to the. Let's compare Danny to the other next gen racers that share his body mold, like Kim Spinner, Richie Gunzit, Paul Conrad. Eric Breaker, Michael Rodor, Steve Slick LePage, Conrad Camber, Barry DePetal, and Herb Kerbler. And now for some of the other NASCAR cameo next gen racers like Chase Race Lot and Ryan Inside Laney. And I really wish I have Bubba Wheelhouse, although he is getting re released in a five pack, which is which five packs are sold exclusively at Walmart, but Rumors have speculated that Bubba, a new five pack with Bubba Wheelhouse is going to be re-released. So hopefully I'll get the five pack from Walmart. And speaking of NASCAR, Saturday, February, tomorrow is Saturday, which is the 20th, the day of the of the the Great American Race of NASCAR, the Daytona 500, on Fox at 2:30 p.m. So, if you have, if you have Fox and you have your a cable spectrum on your cable TV, just dial channel, just dial eight on your spectrum remote. If you have spec, if you ever have spectrum. Anyhow, what do you guys think? Which Octane Gain Racer is your favorite? Which NASCAR Cameo Next Gen Racer is your favorite? And which Danny Suarez body model is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more.
Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos, leaving suggestions of which car of the past from the car collection video should I review next in the comments, and consider the support by viewing and subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!